The House of Representatives has urged the National Security Advisor to declare the killings in Plateau State a national emergency. This was sequel to a motion of urgent public importance by Representative Denchung Bogos from Plateau State on terrorist attacks on Mungu communities of Mungu Bokos Federal Constituency of Plateau State on Tuesday at Plenary. The report. The recent terrorist attacks on the people of Mungu local government and neighboring communities have left more than 300 persons dead and others seriously injured property destroyed and over 18,000 people displaced at different IDP camps within the local government area. According to the lawmaker, most of the victims have sustained various degrees of injuries are currently receiving medical attention at different hospitals within the state. He expressed worry that the continuous attack by terrorist groups in the communities, if not addressed immediately, will negatively affect famine which was in the existing food crisis in the communities. Concern that most of my people live in fear of the unknown due to insecurity and can no longer assess their farmlands and their mining sites. Further concern that unless the issue of insecurity is handled with doggedness at all levels in the country, citizens will experience food shortage as Plateau is one of the main producers of food crops in the country. Lawmakers want security operatives to provide aerial surveillance and support to flush out the terrorists and destroy their camps to avoid reoccurrence and allow farmers to return to their farms and ancestral homes. Handle the killings going on in Plateau State as a national emergency because of the gravity of which these killings are being done and the constant reoccurrence. I believe if the national, if the office of the National Security Advisor comes into this, there will be a difference. The House unanimously adopted the motion and urged the Secretary to the Government of the Federation to direct the Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and disaster management and social development through the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, and the National Commission for Refugees, Migrants, and Internal Displaced Persons to immediately provide relief materials to victims of the attacks in the communities within the Mangu local government area. In another development, the House of Representatives has called for the suspension of the implementation of increase in tuition fees in universities. This was recalled to a motion sponsored by Liu Sani Madaki, who noted the hike in fees by investors is happening against the worsening poverty level in the country, inflation high rate of employment, and the recent fuel price hike. Also concerned that the increase could, could cause disruptions for a number of students who, can, who could not afford the peace, while many of them could be forced to depart their studies. Others could drop out. Worried that the hike may aggravate the already volatile situation in the country as students are already making threat which could lead to an uprising with grievous consequence for the country as a whole. He urged the National Universities Commission to immediately halt implementation of the increase in fees by federal universities while mandating the Committee on Tertiary Education and Services when constituted to investigate the increase in fees by federal universities across the country with a view to finding lasting solutions to the challenges in the tertiary education sector.